I greet you with strawberry juice on my fingers, and I'll tell you why here in just a few minutes. But I'm Rachel, and this is Practically On Purpose. I'm really glad to have you back with us again today. So my husband came back with this great big, huge flat of strawberries. This is strawberry seeds, and so we are just taking advantage of these amazing strawberries. So I'm gonna get the freezer stocked. So while we talk, sorry, our car is going past, but while we talk, I'm gonna be working here on these strawberries. So we have had um, lockdown as pretty much the rest of the world. So I wanted to touch base with you and give you a little bit of an update. Right now the kids are on in their Zoom classes and so, and the youngest one is taking a nap. So he went to the beach with some friends, which I'll tell you a bit more about here in a little bit. Um, this morning and so he came back just absolutely wiped out while the rest of us were doing class. He is sound asleep so I'm going to try to get this video done while he is sleeping. If I can get the balance right on it. Anyway, okay so we have had, I told you I was going to tell you about the, our, our friends. We So we have had, um, there's a flat downstairs and um, some friends are in town. With the lockdown, we have been able to have a few different procedures lifted, and so they're staying downstairs. So it's been really fun to actually see other human beings, and we have had a few things updated where we um, have more freedoms. We can actually get together with small groups of people, and so we had some friends over on the weekend for brunch out in our garden, and so sitting outside having an alfresco meal with other people it was really quite luxurious and so that was a really special time so we're now entering into the season in our lockdown where we are able to have social interaction this country has done where we live they did really well they locked down quite early and kept it really well maintained and so uh, we didn't have quite as many infections as a lot of other parts of the world have had and so now they do feel that they're that it's they've had success, and so it's at a point of being able to open up to a lot more opportunity. So last night, my husband and I told our friends, one of our friends came and looked after the children. So our husband and I were able to slip away for a date, which is our first in a really long time, and so got some takeaway and went down and sat in our car. It rained, and, and so we sat in our car looking out at the beach, but at least we didn't get sick. And it was lovely to get have a burger and sit out there with my husband. Right, so kids are on in online school. We have just three weeks left of the school term before the summer break. And so we will just continue online until then. Also, I wanted to give you an update on where I'm on in my routines. So I did, as I mentioned last time in my video, last time was that I, you know I do find it really helpful to continue on with my routines and to be kind of flexible with myself about how much I can get done of my routines but definitely continuing with the bare bones ones at the minimum so things like laundry making sure that I stay on top of laundry does very much help our family stay on track keeping meals planned and having the them prepared at a reasonable time in the day, keeping track of what is coming up, you know, in our in our calendar, which that has didn't do too much other than Zoom calls, things like that that we needed to do. But as far as now that we actually have more freedoms, we might be able to schedule things. So every week I do a basic clean, and so I call it uh, it's the weekly home blessing hour, which is the uh, Fly Lady Systems version of just a real basic clean to your house. So it's keeping all of the main living areas of your home, kitchen, bathrooms, dining room, living room, all of those main living areas really um, kind of surface cleaned. So dusted, vacuumed or, or, or swept and keeping trash under control, things like that. And so I do that on a weekly basis and I have some videos about that. So if you're curious, check out those videos and then you know that I do my deep cleaning according to zones and I just do 15 minutes each day on days that I can manage it. Some days I can really be quite profitable and get my deep cleaning done and other days I really can't and that's all right. As long as I keep my basic routines in place, life continues moving forward quite smoothly. And 
and then on Tuesday, so I did I did that yesterday in my week of home blasting hour. I did yesterday, and the only thing on that I wasn't able to get done was mopping. So if I get a chance today, I will give the house another super fast vacuum, just 10 minutes, and then give it a real quick mop. And again, this is not doing a deep clean. This is just doing a real surface wipe through to keep from build up from accumulating, right? On Tuesdays, I do my planning day. So that's the day when I plan my meals and plan a shopping list. Look ahead toward the, toward the calendar, on the calendar to find out what's coming up. And for my meals, I, I don't spend long on this, just 10 minutes. Um, but, and it also it helps because my meals I do in rotation. Just plug in the next week worth of meals from the rotation that I do. And so that's quite straightforward, make a quick meal a quick shopping list on that and then I plan to go shopping on Thursdays. Thursdays are my shopping day. Wednesday is my anti-procrastination day and so I have planned already tomorrow. I already know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I have a big project for work. I'm coming into a really busy season for work and so I have I do need to sit down for just 15-20 minutes and give kind of an overview of how exactly my busy time in work is going to play out and that's been something that I have kind of procrastinated on because it needs to happen but it is kind of an overwhelming task so I need to prioritize it and so I'm prioritizing things that I kind of put off um, uh, onto my anti-procrastination day that's another good day where when you, you as as things start freeing up you just need to maybe get back into the dentist or you know schedule your car checkup, things like that. So that's a good day to get all of those things done, those kind of middle, middle tasks done that you put off. Anyway, so that's a good day to do that. On Wednesday, Thursday, I told you I go and I do my errands. So that will be, I'll be doing the shopping. Right, so that is my routines. Those are so helpful in keeping me on track. And again, I don't spend ages on it. As I list them out, it sounds like it's a lot, but I really don't spend ages on it. I just spend 10, 15 minutes on various tasks throughout the week. And they're the kind of the cogs in the wheel that make things run smoothly. So, and especially coming into this really busy season that I have. And so that is gonna be very key for me to keep, um, keep things running smoothly instead of just kind of overflowing into chaos. I don't do well with chaos. So anyway, this is our life. So going up into our summer plans, we are, you know, it's kind of been in limbo where before COVID, we had plans to, our, plan, our plans were to go to England for a week and then go to the U.S. for several weeks and then come back to England for the rest of the summer. And so obviously COVID put all of that into, into limbo and just sort of a, we don't know what's going on. But now our, with the lockdown measures here being lifted, the airports are opening and flights can resume again, obviously depending on where we're going and airlines. So that's still a little bit in limbo, but we won't be going back to the UK because um, the UK has now a two week quarantine um, in place. So we, if we couldn't go for a week, be a week in quarantine, go to the US for three weeks, come back for another two weeks worth of quarantine in England. So we won't be doing that. So anyway, we're, we're re, revamping our thought process for, okay, well, what would it look like to actually go from here directly to the US and spend the entire summer in the US? Is that gonna be a good idea? What, travel plans and air, airlines and anyway, so we're just giving all of that some thought. We'll see how moving forward things play out. That's us. I wanted to touch base with you and say hello. Wish you well. Hope that you guys are doing well. And uh, feel free to drop me a note below if you need any encouragement or just a listening ear. So all the best, guys. Stay safe and continue strong.